On a lovely Sunday evening, you are standing on your balcony while the rain is pouring, you ask yourself with every sip of coffee, How far have I come? How further do I have to go? What else do I have to achieve? And have my losses made me a better person? Hello and welcome I am a counselor working with Dr. Prerna Kohli. Dr. Kohli is a clinical psychologist and the founder of Mind Tribe. At Mind Tribe, we provide affordable counseling, support groups, communities, workshops, and e-learning for mental health. When we were young, we learned how to write, our grip on the pencil was tight and the pressure of the nib was heavy, so it left dark lines. These lines were hard to erase and left an impression on the paper. Today, when you write, you have moved on to a more fluent and light grip. You make fewer mistakes and erasing them is not a big task too. Our past is synonymous with this paper. When we come across new situations, we are unknown of their consequences. So we are constantly learning and there are greater chances of making mistakes. But with time and experience, we learn how to tackle stressful situations more efficiently. Our past behaviors and their respective outcomes are responsible for our actions towards situations. For example, a child who went grocery shopping with his parents started throwing tantrums when asked to keep a packet of candies back on the shelf from where he picked it. In this scenario, if his parents scold him, there could be two possible outcomes, he will either be motivated to steal or ask again more calmly. A similar process occurs with us now, we make a mistake, and we find out that our approach didn't lead to the expected outcomes, so we often change our directions or way of thinking and opt for better alternatives to reach the same goal. To gain more clarity on organizing these changes in our approach or personality and get a better perspective of our life, we perform a homework called Life Story in Therapy. There is no specific time to write a life story. You can do it whenever you feel that you have lost control over what is happening in your life or to gain a new angle on things. In a life story, we divide the happenings of our life into three sections. The past, the present, and the future. In each section, we write at least three stories based on incidences that have left a powerful and long-lasting impact on our personalities. For instance, when we are writing a story from our past, for example, a story from our adolescence, we will describe challenges that we have overcome like being bullied by our seniors, failing exams, being heartbroken, issues in the family and the personal strengths that allowed us to do so like our patience and self-love or the personal strengths that we have gained in the process. It can also include any joyful experience like your first encounter with your crush, being appreciated by your teachers, receiving awards, having fun times with your best friend, and so on. Next, when we write a story from our present, we describe our life at the moment. This includes our recent adventures or experiences, achievements, and something new that we have started or are currently practicing in our life. Also who we are now, the changes that have been brought in our personality from our past to the current times, our strengths and challenges that we are facing for instance, financial crisis, a dispute at the office or college, and education-related problems, frequent arguments with our parents, loneliness, 
trouble in your romantic or platonic relationships. At the same time, you can refer to the positive things happening in the present, they could be an increment, giving birth to a child, or simply devouring your favorite dessert. And lastly comes the part where we write about our ideal future. How different will our life be from what it is now? A bigger house, larger bank balance, a family of our own, potential marriage, educational goals, spiritual goals, places we want to travel, it should be concerning better or at least similar positive attributes of our life. Describe how you will be different from who you are now. Your personality, your temper, your appearance, it is a narrative of your ideal self. To enhance your experience, you can use a scrapbook for doing this activity and decorate it with pictures, handmade paper, stickers, and sequences, the list can go on. It is a way to add that last feather to the hat, it is a way to symbolize the colors and uniqueness of your life. There is no right or wrong way of writing your life story. It is your own interpretation of your experiences and a creative portrayal of the same. As we come to the end of the tutorial, I would like to remind you of the purpose of this homework is to remind you of your past hardships and how you tackled them. It is also a way to reminisce moments of joy and peace from earlier times. This activity is to make us aware of the learnings from our journey so far, whereas you might also be enlightened by a few realizations while you are doing this activity. This is an attempt at rekindling a fire that you might have lost because the last time you were excited to do something, it didn't turn out as expected. Through this homework, you will be able to enhance your personality for the future, based on the goals that you have set for yourself. You are free to reach out to a therapist or mind tribe, if you feel overwhelmed during the process. I wish you luck on this beautiful journey that you're going to begin, and I hope that you gain a new perspective on your life and feel proud of yourself on the way because you will realize that even though it was difficult, you've come a long way, and you are worth all the happiness in your life.